is a Fox 17 severe weather alert. And the abdominal back tracking the severe weather when it's going to hit and it sounds like it could be a long night, uh, Anthony. Yeah, I think so, but uh, good news for me, it might be a long night for Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig as he rolls in here about two, three o'clock and that's about the time these uh, storms are going to show up in our northwestern sections of the viewing area and sweeping to the southeast from there. So uh, if I had to throw an hour out there in Grand Rapids, maybe four o'clock, 430, something on that order, that is like squarely in the middle of the overnight when the majority of people are sleeping and these storms will come through as I've said a few times this evening with authority that appears to be a good likelihood here folks not much happening right now nothing happening uh, are you getting a sprinkle in northern Oceana Nuevo Macosta counties perhaps some of that may be overdone in terms of what you're visualizing there sometimes when you get far enough from the radar it kind of becomes a little distorted but a little wave of light rain trying to move now down to the southeast that's probably going to work to stabilize the atmosphere for extreme northern sections of the viewing area but will not stabilize it Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo over to the lakeshore and southward to the Indiana line that appears to be a certainty it is these storms just to the west of Green Bay and working over towards Minneapolis or you know just to the east from there it's those storms that have come together recently and will continue to work to the south and take on more of a southeasterly trajectory by and large missing Chicago I think overnight tonight, but down to Milwaukee and then they'll curl to the southeast with time coming into Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. Uh, the first Grand Rapids, though, before Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, and this is going to be late, late in the overnight. That pink shaded color, which takes up a lot of real estate there in the state of Wisconsin. That is a severe thunderstorm watch officially from the Storm Prediction Center until 2 a.m. It is almost an, a certainty that those pink colors are going to show up in West Michigan. And I don't know when, but at some point here, over the next few hours, a severe thunderstorm watch likely will be issued. And those orange shaded colors, those are the official severe thunderstorm warnings on the board as of now. The red polygons there, those tiny little red polygons, those are tornado warnings, I should say. So there is a possibility that there could be a brief spin up of a tornado within this line of severe thunderstorms as it does cross the region. Now, tornado is not a huge concern here. Let me be clear. It is just the straight line winds that will come plowing in from Wisconsin into West Michigan in the overnight and this red outlined area. Not common to see a moderate outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, but that's what we have for this overnight. Uh, pretty infrequent that you would get to that level of intensity, but uh, anticipating that uh, these storms will have a lot of gusto with them as they do cross Lake Michigan here around, say, 3.30, 4 o'clock, and then progressing down to the southeast with time in the overnight. So clearly, this wind category is the main thing to focus on. Now, heavy rainfall, yes, certainly some ponding on roadways briefly there, but it's going to end too quickly to have any significant flooding issues. Hail, not a huge concern, I don't believe. Tornadoes, not a huge concern, but again, there could be could be a tornado warning issued in this overnight within the band of severe thunderstorm warnings as they do work on through from northwest to southeast. I cannot rule that out uh, in, a, in the hours to come. HRRR model, this is the high resolution rapid refresh. I've been going to, going to this a lot this evening, and it's the best model to go to at this point because it initializes the conditions very well, draws down those severe thunderstorms. And again, from Grand Rapids, uh, perhaps just to the north of Grand Rapids, just the north of I-96 and southward to the Indiana line, that's where the highest likelihood is for the strongest of these storms to be coming in. And uh, with wind gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour, uh, it looks like that is a high likelihood with these particular storms. They will get out of here, though. I'm thinking some sun already in the mix by 9 a.m. That'll carry into the afternoon. We're going to have a lot of sunshine, in fact, for tomorrow. Thursday, a shake out to be a really nice day. Temps in the lower half of the 80s. Still some humidity out there, but it goes away. Friday and beyond looks like primarily uh, we are getting rid of the humidity here for a several day stretch. Temperatures right now, though, stuffy in the upper half of the 70s, the warmest air out to our west, but that's where it stays. It will not come in here as we do trend cooler in the days ahead. Dew points running in the lower 70s. That'll fuel these systems uh, overnight tonight, these storms. But uh, look at those temperatures on the graphic. I mean, they're down there. And uh, I don't have any 80s actually here, Ryan and Janice, once we get uh, beyond tomorrow. So though there is a brief little jump up there to 79 on Saturday, that'll be out ahead of a secondary cold front, reinforcing cooler surge. Later Saturday afternoon and evening could produce a shower to nothing big. It's drier thereafter. Humidity's gone. Rainfall's gone. Temperatures Pretty decent, mid to upper 70s. All right, thank you.